Hello crafty friends, welcome back to another episode of All Things Cut and Crafts. This is Abiola from Gaspar.com. Thank you so much for clicking on this video again today, for tuning in to watch our videos. I am really grateful. Um, today, we are going to be setting up our computer with Cricut. So, this is what you are going to be doing right in this video. So, be um, cutting our first project for today and you don't want to miss any clip so keep watching don't go anywhere i will be back soon welcome again so if you watch our second episode you will see this card that came with the cricut machine so you want to pull this out and um, go ahead and start setting up your computer with the Cricut. But before then, please, I want to apologize. This video may look somehow, please. Just bear with me. This is my humble beginning and I don't just want to trade it for anything. I don't want to despise it, but just enjoy the video. So this is where you go after setting up an account with them. You need to use an email to set up an account then here they will tell you to select the product you want to set up is it that Cricut Maker Explore or Cricut Joy the new one so after then I selected Cricut Maker because that's my own machine then the first says plug square end of USB cable into back of machine if you can understand english you should be able to understand all of this and the second one says to plug the rectangular side into your computer and the third one says plug power cable into back of your machine and power outlet then press power button on machine so this is the cord i just got that out from the mini box and they said notes ensure there are 10 inches of space in front and back of the machine so that your mat can move in and out you get to understand that as time goes on so i just want to do the instructions now trying to follow the instruction by plugging my core to the computer and then plugging it to to the back of the machine so that is it and the place before we proceed i also want to remind you that if you want to great um if you want to get anything related to cricut i'll be hiding links in the description box please do it to check it out and then if you see that there's something you need and you can't find in the description box let me know how hard the link to be easier for you to just go through the link and purchase those things thank you so much so then i will just plug my machine as you can see it's power on and then um, and i'll click continue so from there it will bring this ready to update then you will click the power button there that's it to tell you to claim your goodies that it came with bundles and the collections of free images fonts and ready to make projects to add them to your account just register your machine by clicking continue here that's it and um, from there to tell you that you have a free one more dryer so if you want to try the one more dryer you can go ahead and click that and to bring this page where you will do the um, transaction and every other thing that you need to fill in i was just trying to play around with this i wasn't actually going to try any dryer so i went back and brought this page for my first project it says let's make the simple card included with your machine so cut ready to make project prepare materials for cutting and make 
your project then you will click continue but something happened that very day that um, i couldn't make it there was a problem and then i just had to leave it i couldn't record i had to call records but they were able to resolve the problem but i couldn't um do the the other part on camera so i really missed that so after then i just proceeded to cut in my first project so th th these are the things that you see when you are trying to make the card so say to make this with your quick cut machine click here and it will bring this page it's trying to load so this was where the problem started and thing just became red i was like what is happening oh my goodness hope there is nothing happening to this machine but then i call quicker can you see it says an error her code please retry the tutorial and this and so but well, actually i was able to resolve it but i couldn't do it on camera as i said so that was what happened so you may want to just count through the sign space to see what's going on there you see beautiful images ready to cut images and instructions and you just find a way of doing something so that is it about setting up the machine it's super easy and from there i moved on to starting my first project as i said so i already did the, the design on the design space so i said in subsequent videos i will go ahead and then um, do a video on the um, design space what you need to know i mean little that i know i will share even though i don't know much but i will share the little i know so i did this just with the design space because then i wasn't familiar with those things that are going on now but this was what i was able to come with then so i will show you in subsequent video so what i'm trying to do here is just cutting out my high on horn this is what they call heat transfer vinyl which is also called iron horn so this is what you will use the easy, easy press to do so after cutting my um, size i mean the size i wanted i just go ahead and put it on the mat that's the green mat and that's called the standard mat for most things i was actually making a mistake there so that's when you know that this is my humble beginning i was making a mistake i was supposed to be putting the shiny side down yeah so i corrected myself i was actually doing this video watching youtube channel too so this is self-taught uh nobody to contact but i was watching the youtube because i get things a lot when i watch so i was watching a youtube video while doing this too so that's why i said let me put this out it might actually help someone so you want to put the shiny side down then on the computer you want to mirror the image that's very important never leave the image without mirroring it because when you are going to press on your shirt it will not come out good so you want to mirror the image because you are putting the shiny side down just trying to make sure that it's um, well placed and in the right position and then i will use my scraper to just make sure it's lined flat and then um, attached to the mat so that is it about placing your um, vinyl on the mat then i'll plug my record back to the computer so that i'll start the process of cutting then i put it in the machine at the point of entry so you want to be sure that there is space behind your machine because the mat will first move out then it will come back inside 
and you get to know this when you're trying it so let there be space behind so that there will be free movement in and out so then you want to make sure that you resize your design so it will match the each transfer vinyl you have on the mat i hope you understand what i'm trying to say and this is the point where you mirror you have to click that so it will turn on and to bring um, the mat for you and this is it trying to set it in the right way and showing you that this is actually the right size of my design so it won't be cutting out of the mat so then i press the flashing button to load the mat actually the computer will give you promptings like it will prompt you on what to do so i got to know that i am not putting the right blade into the machine so i had to change the blade we we'll also talk about blade later on so you know the right blade so i was supposed to use the point blade but in there that i just removed was the rotary blade which is for fabric so i had to start all over again then i loaded the mat and that's all just started the process of cutting so on the computer you see buttons that will prompt you and what to do so it says you need to connect your machine then there's page that will have to select the material you are cutting so i selected everyday iron on so if you are cutting cardstock you select cardstock if you are cutting flexible ink there are so many options so then you press the go button after doing all of those stuff and if you want it faster if you want it um more or less like the pressure of cutting there are places you can do that on the computer so it will load the mats and the cutting will begin so now that is not actually as fast as this i just speed this part i speed it up but Cutting depends, I mean, the, the, the duration depends on what you're cutting, how intricate it is, and so many other things like that that may factor. And the computer will also update you on the percentage of cutting as you proceed in the process. And then it's complete, you press the unload mat button, which is the arrow there, and it will unload the mat. You remove it and you start working on peeling out those parts that you don't need. You know, we actually needed the go getters and there are some parts that you don't need. So this is the weeder. This is what is called weeder. So that is very important when it comes to working with cricut. So that is what you will use at the tip to just open it up a little bit so that you can be able to see which of those parts you donate then you have to remove that so on the back end you will leave the part you actually needed to be pressed on to your shirt so that is what i'm doing right there and this is how it came out it's okay for a start so this is the Cricut mat. I think you should have seen this in our previous video. It's a Cricut is a press mat. So this is not it's important, but if you don't have this, you can use a towel just to give it a cushion. That's why this has been recommended. So I'll put that right under the shirt and plug on my easy press set it to the normal i mean the recommended temperature for each transfer vinyl but before then i'll just prep my shirt by 
um, making sure that there is no creases on it. So just pressing it for some seconds to just smoothen it out as you can see. Then I'll go ahead and place my design on the shirt. Then I will try and position it correctly even though this is not too good but then as i said this is my humble beginning <laughs> so just trying it out for the very first time then and i was able to come out with something i was actually doing this for my baby then we had an event and i'm like oh he's the only one that has no um um shirt to wear to this event so i said okay let me see what i can do with this quick cut and this is the purpose of it and i was able to achieve it i was so so excited then so you already see that the um time is counting down from 30 to 0 and the temperature is 315 for it transfer vinyl and it's for 30 seconds so being the first time i was so curious that i wanted to see if it's actually attaching to the shirt so i was like oh it's not then i placed the easy press back on it and i started all over again you can imagine that for another like 30 seconds i removed it i placed it again and i'm like oh is this thing going to be good so that is it i flipped the shirt and i pressed the back for some few seconds and i have my shirt ready I was super excited this particular day that i even forgot to show how i peel it and how i ended it in the video so this is it on my baby as you can see go get us it really looks good for a beginner and the other one i made after this is the one i wrote florida for his brother thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like share with friends and don't forget to subscribe if you are watching on youtube you are watching till this time and you are yet to subscribe please do so thank you and if you are watching from facebook do well to click the follow button up there that to make you a member of this family and we can go along together in this journey thank you so much for watching this is your crafty friend telling you to create your own happiness because it's in your head see you in another video bye